Bueno, cuando hablamos de causas en, en espectro autista, es un, la verdad que es un tema bastante polémico porque, digamos, hoy en el mundo todavía en realidad no se, se desconoce la causa del autismo. En realidad, muy cercanamente, nosotros no vamos a hablar de causa única. Nosotros vamos a empezar a hablar de causas, muy probablemente, porque lo que vamos a encontrar a través de la investigación y todo lo que se está haciendo en el mundo es encontrar distintas, distintos factores que van a poder, digamos, desencadenar si uno quiere un desarrollo de un cerebro que es diferente. People have been trying to study the causes of autism for 30, 40 years and most of the research has been concentrating on genetics, on genetic causes, but to date we don't really know what the causes of autism are and it's a huge problem because autism is so common. So the theories are that autism has a very strong genetic component but also a non-genetic component or an environmental component. And it's the two, the genetics and the environmental factors that come together during critical periods of development when the child is just developing in utero uh, before the child is even born. These two factors come together in a certain way and the result may be autism spectrum disorders. Por lo tanto, en realidad, nosotros podemos tener entidades que son puramente genéticas, por ejemplo, si hay una proteína que está alterada, que forma parte de lo como un cerebro se desarrolla, nosotros vamos a poder tener un síndrome autista, pero también vamos a poder tener factores ambientales que hacen un impacto en lo que es el desarrollo. Por eso se habla en realidad de un espectro de causas también. So something in the environment that may be changing over time. Uh, it could be diet, it could be uh, exposures that, 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 that the mother has during her pregnancy, uh, it could be stress, it could be many, many things that are just not genetically based. But environmental factors is much broader than, than toxic substances. It, it can include nutritional factors, include um, medical problems, clinical problems, diseases, infection, for example, during pregnancy or the medication that people may take for these illnesses. But the reason why autism is increasing, we really don't understand right now. That's, that's the, the, the key question everybody's trying to, to answer.